Guys, what is happening is Fursa here from P4C and welcome back to the channel. I literally just came back from one of the uh, Evolution Battle tournaments that I've been having. Uh, so it's around 10.30 at night. So uh, I promise not to scream too loud if we pull anything awesome. <laughs> You can see right in front of you and I, we are opening up uh, the latest uh, Evolving Skies. Now this set I think is scheduled to come out on the 27th of August, if I'm not mistaken. And we obviously got it early now. A lot, a lot, and I mean a lot of YouTubers, uh, PokerTubers in specific, uh, have opened uh, some already as they are sponsored uh, we're not sponsored uh, we have to fork out our own money to uh, do this so i would appreciate if you guys go ahead and smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then afterward hit the bell for the latest videos and updates if you have no idea what i'm talking about in terms of these evolution battle tournament make sure you go and check out uh, the drop down link from the top as well as in the description down below uh, in where i am hong kong uh, we have six weeks of evolution vmax alternate art tournaments there where each of the two weeks you uh if you win those tournaments which includes four consecutive wins uh you will get a prize card and the first two week is vaporeon v max uh, alternate art the second uh well, sorry third and fourth week is jolteon and then uh, fifth and final is the everyone uh, in terms of the competitive side of you uh flareon v max so it will be highly sorted out but we are hoping to pull some evolution uh, here today with uh, evolving skies as I knock my mouth and make that sound. Anyway, uh, let's go straight into it and let's hope we pull some bangers of evolution VMAX cards. All right, here it is. Uh, let's slide this open right now. Now, this particular set is the... I guess, um, compulsion, is that the right word? Uh, combination anyway, combination, probably an easy word to pronounce, combination uh, of uh, EV Heroes, uh, Blue Sky Stream, which we have opened quite a lot, uh, and then last but not least, uh, Sky Perfect Scraping. I got it wrong, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Let's see how we go. Uh, the aim of this, now we pull quite a lot of Evolution alternate art, but uh, we haven't pulled, we haven't pulled uh, any of these with Quasar, uh, well, the Skyscaping Perfect and Blue Sky Stream, any of the alternate art uh, from that particular set. And we have a Gyarados V here, a card that I'm very, very familiar with. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong, I might be looking at things quite differently here. Does, that, does, 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 does the yellow border look a little bit different uh, compared to uh, previously? Compared to previously, I might be wrong. Uh, so let's get this uh, reverse holo out of the way. All right. Uh, yeah, so, but I think um, 90 cards have been cut though. 90 cards have been cut from this particular set, from the Japanese set. So, um, I almost know the, uh, I almost know the Rayquaza set off by heart now. So sorry, the Blue Sky Stream off by heart. So I think uh, Volpix and Ninetales are out uh, from, from memory. Um, that's the only two noticeable ones uh, because I've been, uh, again, been opening up quite a lot of these. Uh, we got Phoebus, we got Nicket, and we have a Vaporeon VMAX. Okay, all right, we take that. Uh, of course, we are aiming uh, for the Vapor. Uh, sorry, does say Vaporeon? My mind is absolutely. Uh, I'm actually really exhausted, uh, but I really wanted to open a box, and I think I said Vaporeon. Apologies, don't kill me on the uh, on the comment section. I'm still thinking about my Vaporeon VMAX Ultimate card. Uh, like I said, we just came back from a tournament. Uh, as of now, so uh, the second episode of our uh, battle log, battle vlog, whichever way you want to talk, uh, say about it, will be coming up uh, sometime this week. Um, 
should be right after this uh, particular video goes up. Uh, and we've got an Aramphos and then a Zora there. All right, uh, just trying to sort out the cards there. So we did put an Umbreon VMAX. So hopefully we will pull the Umbreon Alternate Art VMAX, which we actually haven't pulled in EV Heroes uh, as well. So we pulled the V twice, uh, but we haven't pulled uh, the Alternate Art VMAX uh, as of this stage. We've got Drowsy and then we've got an Amphros there. So, uh, like I said, um, we have some really hectic content coming up uh, this couple of weeks uh, just because we are out and about uh, out and about with uh, tournaments and stuff so uh, we will try to fulfill the three videos a week um, I mean the only thing the only reason why it is hard because uh, at night I'm going out to play these tournaments so uh, not a lot of time off to go day job as well so not a lot of time of uh, editing uh, plenty of time of filming uh, or plenty content uh, to show you guys but just uh, not a lot of time to uh, edit uh, as I'm butchering this particular pack here uh, did I see some silver and glittering uh, do we have something in this pack uh, maybe it's just a hollow card so who knows uh, let's see as we get to closer a pyro and then let's have a look at the top we do have something here. We do have something here. This could be a full art, alternate art, whatever it is. Let's one, two, three, go, go, go! We've got a go lock, alternate art V here. Uh, now, centering on these uh, have been a bit of a hit and miss, uh, as they always do, actually. Like I wanted to just to point that out. Uh, from what I can see here, centering looks pretty good on this card. Now, you guys might tell me otherwise, uh, but just from the front, looks good let's have a look at the back no whitening there looks also looks really good i think uh i think we need to grab some sleeves all right let's put them like this and then we'll put the gyarados there uh go lock is our first major hit for today uh does that mean we're going to uh is that it is that it for this particular box or can we uh pull some uh miracles miracles uh to get more hits here so uh i don't actually i've uh i was gonna say let's just skip go past this i was um, really concerned and worried that we weren't gonna get any of these uh, so we ordered quite a lot of these actually so i've ordered two cases and uh, as i'm butchering these packs i'm ordered two cases um and a few other boxes but surprisingly no sign of the uh etbs yet so i don't know whether or not if i open these et uh, whether I order these etbs or not uh yeah no sign of uh etbs as yet uh so we'll probably do a lot more uh booster box opening for the time being uh on the channel so uh, I think the blisters pack, uh, which should have the, if I'm not mistaken, the EV, some of the EV promos as well. Uh, uh, we're not going to get our hands on that soon as well. So uh, we might have to wait for a little bit. But uh, let's just say there won't be any shortage uh, of this particular set in terms of opening, whether it is in... Uh, English whether it is in Chinese or even in Japanese uh, because uh, um, the Blue Sky Stream and Blue Sky Stream and uh, Sky uh, I always forget the name uh, Scraping Perfect Sky Scraping Perfect are the ones that we are opening uh, for the build battle uh, for the uh, evolution uh, tournaments so been, we've been opening up on a lot of those um, I don't want to spoil it uh, to say whether or not we have uh, won that particular card so make sure you stay tuned for the next episode um, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy the series as well and the reason why I mean you know I think uh, I might be wrong. I, I, I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. Um, not a lot of the tr uh, Poker Troopers, well, ones that are similar like myself anyway, uh, 
takes people kind of, uh, I'm absolutely butcher lucky this is a green coat car. Um, talk about competitive and I mean, if they kind of go either way, like they either just talk, uh, um, do openings, um, and then, or they either talk about the TCG, they don't kind of really mix the two together. And I know it's COVID at the moment, so maybe competition, face to face, in person competition is really hard. Uh, and there's also a fact of, you know, filming uh, could be hard as well. Uh, so, uh, but I haven't seen a lot of content of people, you know, filming and uh, when they go into tournaments and I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, do point us in the right direction. But uh, anyway, so I'm hoping these uh, brings a bit of a different mix uh, to the table for you guys in terms of content, uh, as we always try to do here. Um, and yeah, and let us know what your thoughts are. Um, you know, the tournament stuff will really go for the next six to eight weeks, I would say. Um, I think, I think, uh, again, we destroy that pack as well. These packs are not very easy to open, as you can see. But so far, we opened half of the box uh, and we've got one V, one V Max and one alternate art. So I don't know if you can call that good or not at this stage maybe we're going to get more hits from the second half uh but yeah basically um yeah over the next six to eight weeks we are definitely going for more um battle tournament type of content uh, i'm a noob guys so uh, be gentle in terms of giving feedback and tips so you know all constructive feedback are appreciated um and yeah I really we've got a Sylveon VMAX, we've got our second VMAX, we've got Umbreon, and we've got Sylveon, not bad. So I would love, I would love to see the ultimate art there. Um, but yeah, so um, we, so I think tomorrow is a really big day. Tomorrow, as we're filming, again, we're filming this on a Monday at 10.30 my time. Uh, tomorrow is a big day because I think we get to find out whether or not we qualify for regionals. Uh, this regional tournament that is coming up on the September the 12th, it would be amazing if we qualify because I think it will be amazing content to share with you guys um, of what it is like, um, you know, in person uh, type of uh competition uh, so to speak uh, as you know again it hasn't happened uh nearly enough just given the pandemic at the moment so yeah so we've got a big one coming up on sunday as well as i talked about in our uh, other video here we've got jump off uh there all right moving on to the second half so so far one v two v max and one alternate art one thing i'm not sure as we're tackling into these uh, second half of the pack is that I don't know if the face cam has enough memory So if this video ends with me, uh, only the cards uh, You guys would know what happened now um, Seeing that we are quite early. I don't know if these codes work. You probably can scan them in uh, But you can't open the packs yet. My understanding is we've got a side grade there um, as our first pack from the second side uh, I will be, um, your, uh, how do I put it? You guys are not going to see every openings and, and in terms of, uh, evolving skies when what I mean is because I myself also need some of these codes, uh, to go online and do trades, uh, and, uh, and build some evolving skies deck. So at the moment, uh, the deck that I'm using, um, again, I think. I will be a little bit more serious when it comes to deck building if we qualify for regionals. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just using a weak Quasar deck uh, in terms of an actual, I guess, deck tournament type thing, 60, 60 card deck, um, and using the electric side of things, which a lot of people are actually commenting that I should, uh, or if you are playing weak Quasar, you should be using the fire side. Um, and for those who have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, or not even slightly interested, maybe you can fast forward, but, uh, where Quasar V and V Max attack by ditching, uh, energy that's attached to them. So, uh, and that's, um, and obviously you can choose either side, right? So, uh, 
So a lot of people are leaning towards Fireside, but mine's electric. Now this is a great card, Cryogonal. Uh, very, very awesome card and nothing there. So I might have to uh, make sure I go through the guard pile and pull out the cards because uh, although those here in Hong Kong, we don't really use English card. There's very minimum English uh, tournaments uh, here in Hong Kong. There's more Chinese cards, and um, we don't really even use Japanese cards. More for substitute if we, you know, if we don't get the card or can't get the card. We got eight Dioga here. So we are. I don't even know how to describe this box at the moment. So I mean, we hit an alternate art. Uh, we should be pretty happy, but so far the pools have been relatively dry, relatively dry. Maybe we'll pick it up after this. I think this one is a green code as we pull, get that Krugno card there, a little buff there. So um, one of the thing that is really interesting when you film yourself to play and any sort of professional athlete will, will understand, I guess, uh, is uh, you pick up the mistakes that you make and then, you know, you kind of hit yourself and bang yourself um, through that particular process. So, you know, after, as you guys have seen the first episode of our battle log and, you know, I did that little section where I was like, this is what I should have done. So I thought that was really fun, uh, actually. Uh, again, not sure about you guys, but um, so kind of, I guess, same thing happened today, really, when I, uh, when I and, and went into this uh, particular tournament. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, from there, SQ, uh, there, uh, Leo, Lotot, or oh, skip a cut there, Flabebe, and then do we have a Northern V, a Northern V, I was, uh, so there is an alternate cut for this, uh, it's, um, it's the Arita, uh, kind of like a Batman art type cut there, uh, for easy referencing, so we, uh, just got the V card here. I haven't actually, you know, played this card. So this card is obviously on this uh, sky scraping perfect. And I've been all tournaments. I've been playing uh, uh, Blue Sky Stream. So I might need to change um, without giving too much away. But, uh, I might need to uh, change it up. You might need to change it. I saw gold there, guys. I actually saw gold. This is how how sharp my eyes are these days uh, while playing tournaments. Uh, you just got to think faster on your feet. Unfortunately, I'm not doing too much of those uh, when I'm actually in the game. So let's see what this is. We've got a typo. And then, and then, and then, one, two, three. Oh! We've got a Leafeon. We've got a Leafeon alternate art as well. Oh, two in one box. Now there is obviously a lot of alternate art. Uh, so should I be surprised or not surprised that we get two in one box? By the way, it is approaching 11 o'clock. So I should be a little bit more quiet, but imagine if that was the, uh, if that was the, um, if that was the Umbreon, oh my god, I would have, uh, uh, I don't know what I've done, but uh, you can see I've got the aircon on now, I'm still sweating, I'm still sweating, this is uh, how long of a day I've been actually, I've uh, been up since 7 o'clock, don't know why, uh, work doesn't actually start till 9, and we've got a Ludo Colo. Alright, we are heading into the final straight, uh, which is 7 packs left, uh, you know, we, despite that, we didn't really pull a lot of uh, hits. Uh, well, we do have two because we have two alternate art card in one box, and I consider that a win already. So, uh, thank you very much, and make sure you hit the like button to support us. Uh, as, like I said, uh, we're not sponsored by Pokemon Company, so we don't get these um, for free uh, to open. Um, and this is uh, all out of the salary, all out of the daytime job salary. Uh, and if you think, uh, you know, uh, someone like myself, who you know, I'm pretty proud to say I'm a, a, a YouTube partner, so to speak, but uh, YouTube 
does not pay the bills. Uh, and you know, that's partly myself, I guess. Uh, we just need to think about ways to, um, you know, creative content and let people come to our channel. Um, and that's partly on us. And I guess, you know, I don't, I don't know how the algorithm works, right? So anyway, um, so, you know, your support, you know, just by commenting down below anything that you want to shout out want to say or any um or just like 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 our video it will be really much appreciated and i like to think that i have uh, improved over time in terms of uh you know our editing skills our even our talking uh i guess you know, sometimes i still started uh and which means that some videos are heavily ed edited as well um but yeah and i say i'm a lot uh which a lot of people have picked up so and you would think someone who had you know relatively lots of experience in terms of pu uh, public speaking wouldn't say i'm a lot but i, I do um, and i apologize for that <laughs> apologies and apologize for that and uh my english is also not perfect uh as you know english is not my mother tongue as well so again apologies and apologize for that as well um some people might say i don't need to apologize for that but anyway all right we are mumbling and uh talked a lot of crap and we're now down to our last two packs which honestly probably not going to be expecting much but if we hit something again this might be this might be, well, definitely not this pack here, but this might be the best uh, Evolving Skies opening, right? Uh, all right, let's get this. We've got Crystal Cave and then a Scotland. Ah, how do we time this? Uh, a Umbreon pack as our last pack here. Uh, for today's opening, we will have plenty, plenty, plenty more to come. I am not going to look at the code, we're just going to go like this and hopefully we will pull something amazing, amazing as I'm losing my speech. We have an Alteria. No, this is just, this is just a normal V, right? We've got a Vaporeon V Max. Now the, the Vaporeon V Max for uh, Japanese here uh, is in fact, uh, you have to get it from those uh, special EV sets. So. Here's the code card. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm happy with it today. Two V card, two V Max, and two alternate art cards uh, were pulled from our uh, box today. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, as much as I enjoy opening these packs. I actually don't think we opened English packs for a little while, so I'm very, very uh, happy that we did. Uh, absolutely exhausted, but uh, obviously, you know have fun while doing this uh, that's why we uh, filmed it late at night so uh, appreciate the love and support uh, if you guys can go whether you like the video or even if you dislike the video go hit either one of them uh, make sure you subscribe if you did like this particular video as we've got more different types of content to come and hit the bell for the latest videos and updates all right uh, without further ado uh, if you are opening up packs if you are opening up packs in any part of the world, may the God of Pools be with you always.